my name is Alex Tabunov and I've uh, been here for over six years in Greece and I've uh, been dealing in antiques for over 15 years with uh, Russian and continental works of art, also paintings and porcelain. For me, it's been to Grace. It's a great place, great location. And because of this, in the center of London, of the West End, you actually able to meet one of the top uh, dealers, customers uh, and clients here from all, all over the world. Mainly my clients are privates and dealers who deal with the uh, same things what I deal with. And also we have a passing by clients, including some uh, film stars, some uh, businessmen from all over the world, from Europe, America, Russia. Uh, market is not the same as before, two, three years ago. But I think there will be always some space and place for antiques in uh, every family in the UK and all over the world. So I think uh, we have a great opportunity to grow it. Uh, I have a few historical art articles today for you to show. One of these is one of the, my favorite. This is a Russian Nilo silver box or purse, if you like. This is made in Moscow in 1861, and there's a writing here in all Russian style Igor Igorovich Whistler, which I think this box belongs to one of the famous British American painter James Whistler himself and his father. Uh, was invited by Nikolai I, the Tsar of Russia, in early 1840s to build the first Russian railway. So they were staying for numbers of years in St. Petersburg, and uh, Whistler himself started um, taking the lessons in the Royal Academy of Art of St. Petersburg in the uh, age of 11. He had a very strong connection with the Russian Empire and uh, after father's death they had to move to London um, in late 40s. So this is probably a gift from the friends or members of family in uh, 1860s. This is made of silver with a special Nilo technique uh, which we have which was very popular in Russia in the late 19th century. This very unique piece, I believe it's one of, because there's only uh, uh, with the name here, which we found it, this is uh, belonged to Whistler family. Yeah, it's a great quality here, and uh, also condition is perfect. Uh, there's no missing needle anywhere here with um, beautiful gilded inside, beautifully marked 1861 Moscow. We're asking 5,000 pounds. I got it in, uh, into antique business by accident. Um, uh, fif over 15 years ago, it's all, always about meeting the right people. And um, being as a market trader in one of the London antique uh, markets, I met a few antique dealers and they asked me, by the way, why don't you like to bring a couple of uh, antique items uh, to our shop? So uh, I said to them, why not? Uh, tell me which one is it? And um, yeah, they say, well, for example, these and this, and they show me some pictures. And uh, I was successfully brought it and they pay me. And there was a first start of my career. Uh, later, of course, you, you're making mistakes here and there, but generally, if you meet the right people and um, good uh, professional antique dealers, they teach you. As you can see from my shop, uh, I also was dealing in uh, paintings. And uh, that was uh, my main uh, speciality. Um, I used to bring pictures, uh, mainly uh, 1950s, 1970s, uh, socialist realism art from uh, post-USSR countries, and was selling here in London. And after the price uh, crisis, uh, here and there, so there was no uh, business. So um, then I met these uh, antique dealers and moved to antique. Uh, works of art. Uh, I would like to show you this uh, presentation, Imperial Presentation Ball, which uh, presented by uh, Tsarevich Nikolai, later 
uh, Nikolai II during his visit to Britain to be in the wedding of his cousin, uh, George, uh, later George V. And this uh, ball, um, made in 1893 by uh, famous Fabergé maker Julius Rappaport, um, Here's, there is a presentation writing uh, from Tsar of Russia to Miles, uh, Miles Fenton, 1894. Uh, Miles Fenton was uh, one of the founder of London Underground and he was a manager and um, that's why he had the meeting with Nikolai II later. There was a two pieces, a pair, this ball and the cup. A cup was um, discovered in 1887 by a very famous um, U.S. company uh, La Vie Russi and uh, been sold to very famous Fabergé collector Forbes, uh, uh, Michael Forbes, and has been exhibited in the various places, including 1991, and uh, that cup, which is matching this ball uh, with the same inventory number and the same inscription. Uh, because of the history and um, imperial uh, presentation. Uh, this is a highly important object, also by famous uh, Fabergé makers, uh, by Fabergé and by the order of the royal court. So it's never been in a shop to sell to ordinary people, so it's been ordered by royal court and later presented by Nikolai II. So this is highly collectible article. I would like to present uh, this beautiful imperial Russian uh, porcelain uh, vase. This is a period of Alexander II, 1856, and this is originally hand-painted um, based on the Dutch uh, picture of uh, old masters of 17th century. Beautiful condition, one of uh, historically uh, Soviet government presented this to the Turkish foreign minister in uh, later 1930s. And uh, since then there was an inner family and now we are pleased to have that in the shop.